What's up, Forge family? It's Nick with another Saturday edition of How's Nick's Back? So, if those of you who've been following along, I tweaked my back a couple weeks ago, and I've just been kind of posting my progress as far as how I'm going back to my normal routine, and also show you kind of the, the continuum of the rehab process, what goes through my brain uh, moving forward, and how I approach pain, and uh, being able to just like endure an injury, but still live your life to the best of your abilities. So for those of you who've been following along, um, I'm in week two of rehab. I just finished up my second week. Things are going fantastic. I wouldn't say I'm quite at 100% yet, but I've been able to do darn near everything. So on the rehab continuum, I got, we talked about in the beginning, I wanted to, wanted to address pain and inflammation, get those down as much as possible restore my my nerve mobility, and then start uh, incorporating some gentle isometrics into the system through the glutes and the abdominals. And then uh, I this week, I kind of started progressing into more forward bending uh, hip hinge strategies. So I'll be posting some videos this week about that process. But I've been able to run, I've been able to hike, I've been able to trail run. Um, I've been able to squat, I've been able to hip thrust, I've been able to kettlebell swing. So a lot of the normal movements, the only thing I have not tried yet, and it was not because I'm scared of it, um, it actually just didn't work out this week. I didn't get around to it. Um, I have not gone back to the deadlift yet. So that'll be the goal this week. Get underneath the bar, deadlift. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. I've been warming up really well, um, taking better care of myself overall. So that would be the goal for this week, is to get on the barbell, grab some deadlifts, maybe not the same weight, but probably start maybe about 50% of what I was doing, um, and kind of just see how I go from there and kind of use this as a baseline. And so I think the premise of what I wanna go back to today is people moving into the gym soon are gonna be starting at a certain level of uh, their baseline. So some of you might have a full gym set up like I do. Um, some of you may have had not much of anything and you've been doing body weight exercises and just kind of making ends meet. So I think the point I wanna make for this video today is that when we start to go back into the gyms, we need to respect that we haven't been doing the things that we were normally doing. We've been making modifications to stuff for the most part. Um, some of you might have the luxury and this doesn't apply to you, but for the majority, when you return to the gym, please do not think your body is ready to lift the same amount of weight that you did before. Um, it may not be, and chances are it won't be. Unless you've lifted the same amount of weights this entire time, going back to the gym, not gonna be able to do the same amount of weight. So. I'm kind of treating this rehab process kind of like how you should treat returning to the gyms when they start to open. Create some kind of baseline. Even if it's super easy, um, it might even seem demeaning. You're like, well, why would I go back to the same weights that I was lifting before? Like, why? But your body needs time to adapt. And something as silly as the calluses on your hands you develop those things in the gym, and if you haven't been putting those stresses on your body, it's not gonna wanna demand that of you. So you have to be able to build back up. And part of that might be taking a little bit off the top when regards to weights, and you know, being very, um, being very mindful about how you are to proceed. So I want you to learn from my mistakes and be able to take those situations and be able to better yourself so moving forward, I would highly recommend taking a little bit of weight off the top. Even if you're coming in 70%, you know, just give yourself a couple weeks to acclimate back to that routine again. Everyone's going to come in really stoked, really excited. And they're just like, you know, let's throw some weight on. Just, let's go. Because I haven't touched a piece of equipment. I'm so eager. And your body needs time to adapt to those things. You cannot fight time. As much as I'd love to fight time, we can't. So I hope this uh, very short intro, um, or not intro, but talk, basically the premise is I'm getting back to pretty much my full activities again. 
and um, I'm starting to introduce some more forward bending into my routine because I'm not fearful of it. I'm just respecting the pain. And pretty soon this week, I'm gonna get that deadlift in and um, build up some confidence and some strength in my patterns and really be mindful of my movement and try to be as best moving as possible. So you guys will get to see that video soon. I'm really stoked. It'll happen probably in the next day or two. So thank you guys for listening as always. Uh, hope you guys are having a great week, staying safe, wash your hands, be kind to one another, and uh, we'll see you next time.